What's up, Gringo? Hey. How's it going? This is like <laughs> in all those movies. <laughs> Long time no see. How's it going, man? I'm fine. How are you? Good. <laughs> Acabou de pousar aqui. What's up, Gringo? Hey. How's it going? This is like in all those movies. <laughs> Long time no see. How's it going, man? I'm fine. How are you? Good. Did you have a Thanks for the trip. Nice flight? Yeah, it was great. It's fun. Nice. I feel better in the small planes than the big ones. <laughs> yeah, I you told know? you. Yeah. Yeah, you, and it and it's more flexible, so you don't oh, have to no, have all those great. delays, and you take off whenever you want, and you. Oh, it's amazing. It's, it's another life. Yeah. It's, it's... Oh yeah. Bom dia, pessoal. Tô a caminho da empresa aqui agora. Com meu amigo Matias. E resolvi gravar conversando um pouco com ele Porque tem umas perguntas que vocês fazem aí Que vai ser respondido nesse vídeo aí Como por exemplo se o mercado digital no Brasil já acabou, etc So Matias, say hello Bom dia <laughs> Nice So uh, the Bra my, I got this Brazilian audience yep. They think that they, they ask me like every day Oh, do you think it's still worth it for mm. me to learn digital marketing? Yeah. Because uh, I think it's it's already over. Like, who made money, made money, and yeah. there's no chance to make money. What do you think about that in Brazil? I think that... Um, I understand why people think that. Because they see a lot of people being very successful now, and they think that, you know, they it's it was like the gold rush, and it's over. But you have to look at the next 5, 10, 20 years and see how much we spend time on phones and online and see how much, what other options are there. Uh, the, the, the truth is there's no other option. You know, we're going to keep using apps. We're going to keep buying and ordering online. We're going to keep... It's just gonna grow. It's right? gonna grow. It's the it's beginning like Bill, of it. Bill Gates said uh, that in the future there will only be two types of company: yeah. the ones who does business online and the ones who doesn't, who don't do any business at all. Yeah. You know. Yeah. So you I don't tell have them. A choice. That for me in Brazil, it's just like in the very pointy tip of the yeah. iceberg right yeah. now. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Because we we met like five six years mm -hmm. ago and. Uh, you see how, how things involved here, yep. and it's still not how yep. it was outside of Brazil five, six years yep. ago. So we're around five, six years behind the, the more the Oh, more even countries. more. Yeah, even, even more. more. There's some markets that are way, like probably closer to 10 years late, Yeah, which is a big opportunity for people who learn. That's, all, that's uh, what I tell them. Yeah. I tell them that I, I they, they ask me, say, I just get what's working outside and yeah. make it work here, yeah. and it's, and yeah. since it's new, it's it makes generates a lot of money yeah. and it's it's a new thing. The benefit but, that you have in Brazil is the country is so huge. Yeah, you know? that's nice. Explain so to them. That. Massive. I mean, I you know you have a lot of experience. I have a lot of experience selling in other countries. Yeah. Um, I, I sell a lot in Europe, where the countries are very small. Uh, and what's the, the size of the countries oh, today? Where you let's say the Fran like France is about. 50 to 60 million people like buyers on the whole really. front and that's whole where you're selling today exactly. right yeah yeah and we have like around 200 and something million yeah. so people it's are, huge it's like yeah. russia <laughs> it's, it's crazy people underestimate how big brazil is and if you can learn the skills if you can learn how to use and sell online there are so many things you can sell online now here in Brazil that are not being sold, or if they're being sold, they're being sold very uh, in a very low, sophisticated way. That, so that's nice. Uh, so we talked uh, last week mm. with some customers. Do you remember? Yep. And um, they were doing 
so 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 little like they were leaving the whole money on the table yeah. and they thought that they were doing too much and you're like man you're crazy because <laughs> you're losing the, you're leaving all the money behind because they don't do follow-ups yeah. like they like the americans do yeah and uh the strategies like we find outside it's still not being used here no. it's not by many like I, i'm the ones of the the guys who defend them but since it's it's uh, uh, money that you're gonna get later, yeah. even though it's 10 times bigger, yeah. the Brazilians, they just want the easy, fast money, you know? So I'm trying to change their culture of, uh, you don't need to, it's, it's better to make 10 grand in a, in a one or two months yeah. period with, with a customer, with a single customer, yeah. than making one grand now, you yeah. know, 1,000 now. So that's what I try to explain to them. Yeah, and it's a culture thing, you know? It's so, a culture thing. Um, Brazilians and, and countries that were more uh, warm-blooded and, and, and more emotional have a tendency to want results faster than, you know, northern countries like Sweden or Germany who are okay with not making a lot initially but making more uh, later. And so if you, and this is what we were telling your customers, yeah. if you can accept to make a little bit less today, yeah. you will make five or ten times more and we actually drew the system and the yeah. process uh, on the on the wide and, and you said that in, in France you're do, you're doing like it takes you like three months right then three. here they're, and there and here they complain if they don't get a conversion <laughs> in two days they're like oh this this com this campaign didn't work for me I need to yeah. close it and I'm like yeah. crazy that's we, your best yeah. ad campaign you know yeah we have campaigns that take us so when we advertise on Facebook or even on free traffic um, it takes us between three and six months to get someone to buy something the first time and so For us and you've sold in the US. You know that it takes time to get someone to trust yep. you uh, and um, If you can understand and, and be more patient you will make way more money. Yeah and um, and that, That's something and how about the numbers I've shown you the how what do you think about those numbers? You think there are they're nice, you think they're... In Brazil, are, for yeah, Brazil? Yeah. It's, you know, I think... Maybe people, just our numbers, you know, how much we're, we're currently making now and how much we can make, because we're not doing, as I told you, we're making over 30 millions per month, like yeah. over a million a day. Yeah. With, without the customers doing yeah. what they're supposed to do yeah. in conversion terms. Yeah. So I believe that if we implement everything we have to implement, which is what we talked about, Yeah. Uh, we can easily bring that three times bigger. I was gonna say a hundred. Yeah. Yeah. Um, just because, again, when we draw the process and the marketing on a whiteboard, and you show me what people are doing here, and I show you what we in Europe and the U.S. need to do to sell, because there's so much more competition. Yep. Um, you can easily, easily triple. If, yeah. The if now. we do here what we, what you guys do outside, yeah. we can triple the money. Yeah. 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 Yeah, but it takes time and it takes work and patience and that's something that people need to learn and but if you can learn to be patient yeah you'll make more than anyone more than anyone yeah so I always think that it's I'd rather make I always tell them this I rather make 50,000 a month for the rest of my life than yeah. make a million now you yeah know? but uh, most of the guys that I know they just want to make a million now and forget about the rest yeah. of their life yeah. you know? And I tell them, a million, you're not even a millionaire. Because no, uh, if you buy a house, yeah. that's going to cost you at least 700, 800,000. Yeah. A cheap house, you yeah. know, like a basic house. Yeah. And then you buy a car, and then you can't even pay your condo, and you can't, you can't even pay your bills, you know, so you're not a millionaire. But you are a millionaire when you make more than 50K a month, every month, yeah. consistently for the rest of your life. You, you, the day will come where you will have a paid house, a paid car, paid everything. So yep. you just start growing, growing, growing. I think people who understand the opportunity here and think like uh, someone from outside in a very competitive market, that's, that's when you really get the the, 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 the maximum results, really. 
Yeah. And that, that's my difference because yeah. I know the market outside. I know the market in Brazil. And the thing is, what's working outside, you cannot get it exactly how it is outside and put it to work here. Yeah. You need to add the Brazilian culture, culture. Yeah. because if you don't have it, it's just going to be a, an American way of doing business. But the American way of doing business, it's made for Americans. Yeah. So it's made for the American thinking. Mm -hmm. You need to adapt it to the Brazilian thinking. Once you adapt it to the Brazilian thinking, oh, it's free money. 100%. <laughs> I mean, I was talking uh, at a seminar last week. I was speaking in Paris at a seminar, and, and someone asked me, uh, I'm so the guy was looking to sell a, an American product in France, and he's like, how would you go about starting that business? I said, well, you have to understand that the US and France are two completely even opposed markets the way they buy culturally. So. What everyone does is they go to the U.S., they translate, and they sell in the translation. That yeah. never works. Yeah, they ask me that too. If yeah. I just get an American product and I translate it, will it work? No. No. You need to adapt it to the Brazilian way. Yep. Uh, this is capsula. We've been here already just filming yep. a capsula, aí, pessoal. Vamos passar na frente dela para ir para o centro administrativo do grupo KPG. So. Yeah, I tell them that they think like, oh, if I just translate and I could do a Google Translate, because they, <laughs> is that okay? And I just boop it up. I'm like, no, you need to adapt it because yeah. it's it's not gonna work. Yeah. And if it doesn't work, even if you do sell, you, people who buy from you won't be happy. Yeah. And if they are not happy, you won't be making money for yeah. on, on the long term. And the problem is sometimes people are okay with just making money on the short term, you know? Yeah, but. Easy money comes in, easy money goes out too. Yep, so I tell them that all the time. You have to be, it's a decision, right? You made the decision to build a real business. Yep. I've made the decision to build real businesses too. Like it's, it's the same thing, but it's a decision. It's a decision. If you decide that you want to do the digital marketing thing, it's you have to decide that, okay, I want to do this. For the rest of the life. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, be serious about it. Yeah, yeah I, I agree. So if you guys want to, to decide whether you guys want to work on this or not. There's there's two decisions inside this business. One is the short term, mm -hmm. which means you're gonna make millions very fast, but you're also gonna lose it very fast. Not lose it, but you're not you're gonna stop making money very fast. You know? I have customers who I told you yep. made millions who yep. were and and then they stopped because mm -hmm. they only took they only thought about the short term. Yep. So on the long term, they lost, and I had customers, and I have customers who I could bring them to my vision, yeah. and they would go slow mm -hmm. on the short term, and now they're flying like crazy. Yeah. And the thing is, nobody can get them because yeah. they're they getting the decision. Yeah, and they're getting all this uh, revenue from things that they're not selling today. Yeah. Yeah. You know. And the other guys, they only get one-time revenue. Yeah. So you sell once and you only make profit once and you never do business again with that guy. You know? Yeah, and um, again, when making money quickly and thinking only the short term is wrong because you will make the million reais today, but it will stop. And then you will, you will use all the money you made to try to, to get try, it back. Yeah, that's to what try I try to see. make money somewhere else, and you will lose fifty thousand, twenty thousand, hundred thousand. And when you 000. see it, you lost everything. And then you will lose everything. You're back at square z, square one. And I've seen that. Okay. Yeah. Oh I, yeah. I, I can tell you. We've see, we know people. Yeah. Like I can tell you. Like I, I've seen that hundreds of times. Yeah. Uh, we have lots of customers who made like on 2017 and 2016 mm -hmm. who made like tons of millions yeah, like yeah. five ten million reais and have nothing today yeah. not even a, like car yeah you know because they thought oh this was so easy <laughs> that uh i'll be able to make it again but again it starts getting tougher yeah and then the thing that he learned and the way he did was just too too small mm -hmm. so it doesn't work anymore yeah. and then he spends all his money trying to get back in the game and then as you said then when they see they're yeah. square zero again so or, or even you know you, so you it's a mindset exactly it's a mindset and yeah. you know you know how many things change so fast in our business right facebook changes the rules yeah, google every changes week. the rules so if you only depend on that one thing you know what they say like a one trick pony if you if yeah. you only have one trick to make money yeah. and then you depend on facebook to make money and they change something you, you lost everything you lost so you don't have a business really yeah and that's that's what i always tell them yeah. because 
uh, it's to over deliver, you know, yep. to make the customer happy. And that I have this phrase when I tell them, it's like price is what the customer pays you, yep. value is what he receives. Yep. So what he receives must be a hundred times more than what he paid. Because if he paid for something, if he paid a hundred for something that cost a hundred and he thinks, okay, he's, this is worth the hundred, mm -hmm. he's happy, but that's not something that's going to bring you a long-term yep. relationship. But if he pays a hundred for something and he thinks, man, this should have cost me 10,000, yeah. then you got a loyal and yeah. real customer who will be talking about you with their friends and they will be always promoting you. And he'll buy for years. And he'll buy years. for years. Yeah. yeah. You have customers um, who buy for years. You know, yeah, I have customers, uh, they, I have customers who buy for me for more than four years. And they'll keep buying. They'll keep buying. Yeah. They'll keep buying. All right. What you guys think about that? <laughs> <laughs> so, Matthias lives in Switzerland, right, Matthias? Yep, Switzerland and London, and um, and he's he works with London and France. Yeah, right? and he's my friend for six years now. We met over old uh, old Ta in Tallinn, old uh, Soviet Union. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> and like six years ago. I, I, like I tell people today, people come to me, hey, what you think about Bitcoins? I'm like, oh, I've done oh, money okay. with that yeah, six yeah. years ago, but that. now it doesn't work anymore. We okay. talked about that in 20, 2012. Yeah, 2012. 2012 we about and Bitcoin. people are asking it today. I'm like, nah, forget about For, that. Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right, guys. Talk to you guys later. All Hope right. you enjoy. Bye, Say everyone. Bye. Tem 20 minutos de, de vídeo de inglês aqui pra vocês colocar na agenda. Coloca a menina aqui Coloca a secretária do seu lado aí, vai. Ó galera, esse aqui é o Fabinho, diretor de marketing. O Peu, enrolador. O Jeff, o Israel, enrolador também. Tem um vídeo do Pablo Vittar. Você põe na edição pra mim, por favor. O vídeo desse menino aqui do Pablo Vittar. <risos> Não, não tá chamando a atenção, velho? Tá chamando a atenção? Ah, doido demais. Da puta, o <risos> sol. O Jefinho não sei de tudo. Aquele que tá viajando na bunda do mano. <risos> <risos>